My father went constantly to the Jewish library. The library was a very beautiful building at that point. It was sort of a stucco palace. It was a beautiful old Victorian building. And Ravitch was a very close friend, very close. Friend. That was later, in the first yeah, years, Ra Ra before Ravitch before, came. Uh, what was his name, Hossett? Oh, Kalis. Kalis, that's right. Kalis. Every, every time I see Kalis, no, he was real never estate. a friend, but he was a very able, able person. He, was, he ran the library beautifully, he and Rachel. But Rachel my father was always there. scrapping with Rachel. But I went there and read English books. I had a really good collection of English books. There was no public library system in Montreal at the time. There was. There was the Fraser's Library. Leo that used was to a go. private library, too. Oh, but Leo <laughs> used to go. My husband used to go. Yeah, there but you child. had to be older to go there. Yeah. To get there. My mm -hmm. parents never took us to it. No. So that was our. So I would take books. And I remember taking out books from <laughs> a fight I had with Rachel as a little girl. I wanted to take out Nana by Emil Zola. Am I right? Emil Zola, whatever. He'd written other books that were good, but this is really a very pornographic book. <laughs> she wouldn't let me take it. <laughs> she was very proper and very concerned and very caring. She was very proper, and my father was very, uh, yeah, I'd say improper, well, playful. He my father was plastic. playful and, and a terrible flirt, but he yeah. didn't flirt with her. <laughs> no, no, he fought with her. Yeah. And he, w this was his source of reading material, and all the, all the journals came to the library and so on. So it was really important to go to the library regularly to, um, to get books and the latest journals. Uh, we would also get pieces of the New York Times. I guess that's someone, the cultural parts of the New York Times. You certainly did not have the money to buy newspapers. 